Hey, hey, welcome, welcome, welcome to the finest entertainment experience in New Vegas. My name is Tommy Torini, and how can I make your day? Well, it was my idea. Well, me and the rest of the Rad Pack boys. We took it to Benny, and he thought it was a good idea. A few years later, here we are. The best show in New Vegas. Well, apart from serving as a talent manager, show schedule, and all-around man in charge of this fine theater, I happen to be its headline act. Every night from 8 till midnight, come on by to see the Rad Pack Review live, only right here at the Aces Theater. Well, acts are a bit thin on the ground right now, but every night from 8 to midnight, we got the Rad Pack Review. Songs... Dancing, jokes, we got it all. Sure, baby, sure. Tommy's always looking for new talent to bring to the Aces. Tell you what, you see any good acts while you're out wandering, give them my card. If they work out, I'll give you a 3% cut of the door. Just swing back by as you recruit folks. I'll get you your bread. Ooh, a shop customer. All right, all right. Five percent it is. Take it easy, baby. Vegas at night is like nothing else. I had dinner at the Ultra Lux the other night. I told them my steak tastes funny. They said it was a clown. I ate a person. I know a guy. His motto is love thy neighbor. He lives next to a brothel. Oh, no. Hey, come on, pal. I'm trying to put on a show here. You're welcome. All right, then make it snappy, kid. This isn't exactly a lucrative career enterprise here. The name's Knight, Billy Knight, and this here's what a lifelong career in comedy will get you, oi. That's exactly my point, kid. Exactly my point! If you believe my mother since she first laid eyes on me, first thing she said was, boy, that's a funny looking kid. I guess I got a face only a mother could love because no one else would give me the time of day. Hey, maybe you can help me. See, I can never tell when it's lunchtime. Breaks better than a shot. Less chance of lead poisoning. Hey, if you know any gigs hiring, I'll work cheap. Real cheap. I'll take peanuts. I'll take the shells. Yeah? Hey, you're all right. Tell him I'll do it for 100 a night. No, 50. No, 20. 10. Just don't rob me. I'll do it. Whoa, geez, what was I thinking? You're right. I gotta go in there with a cool head. Tell them how much I'm really worth. Fucking Crocker couldn't find his ass if it wasn't on his backside.
Whoa, baby. Am I looking at a mirror? Or are you just that ugly? Come on, stay in character. You're supposed to be heckling me. Hey, not bad. Your timing's terrible and you got no style. But you might make it as a professional heckler. What? You mean you're not part of the act? Huh. Sorry. Thought you were the heckler Garrett hired to spice up the shows. Either you need to get your eyes checked, or that famous fleeting thing is true. And since I happen to be world famous, you must be going blind. Name's Hadrian. Bet you never saw a ghoul in a suit before, huh? Of course, you don't exactly strike me as the worldly type. Yeesh, is my act that bad? Or are you just that dumb? Yeah, that's right. Got me a nice juicy contract with the management. Okay, I admit it. I ain't exactly rowing in caps here. But what do you want? I'm under contract. I can't get out. Too bad I got this ironclad contract with the Garretts. They'll never let me out of it. Huh. Good luck. Garrett's a tough, mean son of a bitch. He's not likely to give up. Let me know if you make any headway. Yeah, go on. Scram. Hey. It's, uh... Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. What can I get you? Now, why would I want to do that? His performances make me quite a lot of money. I suppose you've got a point. Plenty of Brahmin on the prairie and all that. Fine, I'll cut him loose. He's all yours. Till next time. Great to be up here, looking down at all your smiling faces. That won't last long. Hey, look at this guy. I didn't know they let Brahmin into this joint. Look at you. You look like a talent scout for a cemetery. If you had your life to live over again, let me make a suggestion. Play in traffic. This guy's so sharp-eyed, he cuts himself every time he blinks. Buddy, you look tough enough to drink a pint of glowing water. Why don't you do us all a favor and try it? Somebody told me the other day you were bright. I wasn't sure if he meant smart or radioactive. The more I think of you, the less I think of you. This guy right here, he's got an angel looking over his shoulder. If I were him, I'd get a restraining order. Was that suit made to order? It was. And where were you at the time? I hear you got a ready wit. Tell me when it's ready. And talk about your quick reflexes. This gal is so fast, she beat me to the punchline. And talk about your quick reflexes. This guy is so fast, he beat me to the punchline. Bye. I dig this crazy slang. This place is the bee's knees. I dig this crazy slang. Any luck with Garrett? Really? You mean I'm finally out of this shithole? That's great. Thank you. Good day.
don't kill me. I swear I'll have... Wait, you... You don't work for Mr. Bishop, do you? Sorry, it's just... You look like his type, you know? You got that hard-ass wasteland explorer thing going on. Oh, so you have heard of me. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I was the big draw at the Shark Club. People used to pay hundreds of caps to see me. You don't know Mr. Bishop. He's not like other bosses up there. He knows the wasteland like the back of his hand, and he likes to wander it. I knew if I didn't get way the hell away from New Reno, he'd run me down like a dog. Oh, well, that's all just a big misunderstanding, see? Mr. Bishop? Well, he owed me a lot of money, and, uh, you know, he's a busy guy, so I sort of figured I'd just take it off his hands. Robbed is such an ugly word. It's more like I took care of a payroll problem for him. Also, I might have, uh, sort of plowed his daughter. A little. Thanks. But if Bishop finds me and I don't have his money, my balls are going to be on his trophy wall. Really? The tops, huh? Well, it's no shark club, but I hear security on the strip is real tight. Even Mr. Bishop wouldn't hit a joint like that. I'll check it out. Thanks. Uh, yeah, yeah. See you later.
Howdy there, partner. My story's a long one, friend, and I can't say as it's all that interesting. Well, I was born in a little town out Montana way. Me and Ma didn't have much, ever since my pa up and left. No, sir. I'm 28. Why? That he did. Never did know why. Ma always said he was a real mysterious fella, even when he was with her. Like he was a stranger sometimes. Maybe. Maybe I just never felt like I belonged back home. I suppose there's that. But a man ought to know his own pa. And a woman oughtn't to have to work herself to an early grave to provide for her family. After Ma died, I guess I wanted to find my pa and get some answers from him. Been out here looking ever since, but he ain't an easy man to find. Can't say as I really know. Maybe I'll just ask him why. Maybe I'll punch him right in the mouth. Hell, the more I talk about it, the more the whole damn thing sounds like a dumb idea. Maybe I should. Don't suppose you know any place a fella with a guitar might find a job, huh? Hmm, maybe it's time to give these tired old bones a rest. All right, show me what you've got. I suppose it's only right you get a little something for your troubles. Here, my daddy left me this gun. Guess I don't need it no more. I got to hand it to you, baby. You did an 18 carry job on this one. My schedule's so full, I couldn't put on new acts if I wanted to. A cowboy act? Yeah. He dropped on in here not too long before you. He's got chops, baby, real chops. And I ain't just talking about that mustache. And like we agreed, here's your fee. 5% of the cut comes to 166 caps. Don't spend them all in one place now. Unless it's right here. You talking about Mr. Isaac? Damn, baby, when you bring them in, you bring them in. 
That cat's gonna bring me money like you wouldn't believe. Here's your five percent, baby. You enjoy that. That comedian, you mean? Yeah. He was a hell of a haggler. Cost me a pretty cap. Hope he's worth it. Here's your five percent. That ugly mug with the razor tongue? <laughs> Take it, baby. He'll be one hell of a novelty act, just like Tommy promised. Here's your five percent. You know it, baby. Take it easy, baby. <laughs> <laughs>